Hi, my name is Josh Bullabong. I'm a guide here at McCoy Zinn in Isle, Minnesota on beautiful Lake Mille Lacs. I'm going to show you some different tips on picking up a lead core rod, how to set it up, how we kind of rig it, so that you can go out and be successful picking while you're going to be lead coring. So right here I got my hand, it's just a, you don't need an expensive rod, this rod here is probably about $35 at any, uh, any of your sporting goods stores, it's just an Eagle Claw, it's an 8.6, we're looking mainly on a downrigger, what you're looking for is a nice flexible rod, you can see it's got a lot of bend and play to it, so that when you see that lead core go out, you'll have a nice bend to your rod and you can see that fish really hit this rod. So, like you can see it will be kind of like a bend and then it will be a nice evenly bend when you're going to have that fish on. So you're looking for a nice rod that's going to be flexible, strong enough to hold that big walleye because this is a, definitely a big walleye technique and it's a very very underutilized technique out on the lake too. And then uh, next would be your reel choice. You want a large arbor reel, especially a bait cast around here. These are fairly cheap too. You can buy these as combos already set up this combo with this reel was about $55 so it's a very cheap effective way to get to the fish it already had the line on it but if you do buy one without line on it what you're going to look for is 18 pound lead core line 18 pounds kind of the standard nowadays every uh, book and all that that you're going to read on that talks about it is going to be is going to be the 18 pounds so what you're looking at each section of line comes in 30 foot sections of different colors on there and each one of those it'll drop seven feet as I'm sure we'll go over it later on out on the lake with Mike there we'll cover all that especially when we're out there what we're looking for but right now we're just basics so we're gonna have this large arbor reel as you can see fits in nice down here right on your rod hook right in the reel seat if I can get it in there so I'll hook that up Next part, it's always easier just to have it all to spool it out so that you can tie everything instead of trying to tie it right from the arbor there. So I'll run it all the way through my guides here. Oops. And there will be two different techniques that you can use to tie these up. You can use like a back-to-back -back uni knot, or you can use a small swivel. And then there's also another technique, you can tie a little loop at the end of your lead core and tie the line directly to it. I prefer the swivel because it does get rid of some line twist when you're about ready to use the... when you're using crankbaits especially, and especially catching those fish, they may spin a lot on there. The lead's really nice because it is nice and stiff, but what you want to do is always grab and I cut a little piece off of there so I get rid of the fray at the end of it. There'll be a little bit of fray all the time at the end of the lead core. So just get a nice sharp scissors. I'll cut that off and what you want, hopefully you can see it's a very, very small swivel so that that way it can fit through your eyelets so that you can reel that in because you're going to want a big long piece of leader on there. So I'll tie this through. And it doesn't even have to be a fishing knot. What I do is a two halves hitch, which we'll go over later on on some of our knots videos and, and get a close up. But just a simple two halves hitch is all you need. It holds everything. Like I said, the lead core is very stiff, so it's not going to come loose. And it's also got a lot of friction on it. So it's really a friction knot. So it should never, never bend or come undone. And I'll just pull it tight. We'll trim that off. Then. And then the next piece is getting out your uh, leader line. And I use, I prefer 10 pound test. Again, that's all your books and all that that you're going to have is going to have 10 pound test mono as your dive line. And we use about 30 to 50 feet on Lake Mille Lacs because of the clear water. So we're going to use something I'm just using right here. I'm just using Trilene 10 pound XL. It's a smooth one. If you're going to troll over some rocks or you're worried about a lot of the teeth or something, maybe you got some northerns, the XT is a little bit tougher, it can handle those. So all I'm going to do there is do my regular basic fishing knot to that swivel on there, and then I'm going to count out about 30 feet. I'll use 
It's just a rough estimate. You don't need exact numbers on it when you're doing it, just as long as it's around that 30 to 50 feet. And you'll get a lot of different answers from a lot of different guides. Some people use 60, some people say they just use 5 feet. So I mean, it's kind of a personal preference getting out and trying it. I've found it works best with about 30 feet, so I'll just rip off, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, and then this one's about 25 right there. A little bit short, but still close enough to what we're going to use it for. And at the very end of that leader, I'll put a nice snap, a uh, crankbait snap. That way I don't have to worry about my line also twisting. And I'll have my nice, uh, the, I can switch out crankbait colors really quick. And then I'll pick out my lure. And like I said, perfect. All I got to do is just clip it right on there. And we're ready to go lead core fishing.